Hey guys, it's Robert again. I want to say thanks for coming to my channel. If you're new here, check out my videos. And if you like it, please subscribe below. If you are subscribed to my channel, welcome back. Appreciate it. So today I want to talk about this Pelican case that's up on top here. I had a couple requests because they saw my Instagram of my installs and said, Hey Rob, you know, how'd you get that mounted up there, man? So, okay, I'm going to let you guys know. It's actually pretty simple. So first thing you got to do, is buy a case. This model right here is the Pelican brand 1750. I'll put a link below so you can see what it looks like. Another popular brand, which is a lot more budget than price, is by Plano. I don't know if it's Plano or Plano. And I will link it too. And those are more affordable, brand new. I picked up this case actually used, so I save a few bucks. What you need to get is go to your friendly hardware store and look for quarter inch carriage bolts. So they have actually a square edging and that will fit perfectly into these rails. Um, this, as far as length, I have mine are an inch and a half, but you can actually get a little bit less, an inch. I got four carriage bolts, four rubber washers to let it sit underneath the case. Then I got some regular fender washers, four of them, and the matching wing nuts. Um, I actually try to get either a zinc coated or stainless steel. So don't get just a regular steel hardware. You want minimal zinc coating, so that way it'll help reduce rust or stainless steel. You get this thing on your rack. You measure out where you want to put it. I decided to put mine towards the rear because I was hoping it would be some kind of aerodynamic advantage by doing that with the wind. But just my guess. Now you're going to measure out where you're going to put the holes. So I kind of marked it, you know, with a simple pencil. And then I got a ruler after I took it down. And the hardest and scariest part is drilling a hole. So you're just going to drill a hole to match the, the width of your carriage bolt. There's always, there's only eight. Like a light bar. Once after you do that, this is an older Prinzu. So with my older printer, what I had to do is take off these bolts in order to make room to slide in the carriage bolts into the rail. But the newer Prinzus I've noticed have a nice open slot so you can slip that in there. You're going to space out your, your bolts appropriately and then you're just going to put the case right on top and right through it. Put the washer and then the uh, wing nuts on top. You can use other nuts if you want. It's whatever you feel preferable to install. The most expensive part is finding the case. So if you like this information, please make sure you give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comment below. I always appreciate your positive feedback. Peace out, guys.